Hey, what's up, guys? Um, Rayfraff here again with another video. Um, it's actually an update on the cyanobacteria from last time <coughs> that I made a video. So last time I made a video, I I had it for like a, a, another month. So it was like it's been like almost a month and a half now. The you know battling the cyanobacteria um, with that haven't used any antibiotics or any chemicals or anything like that to get rid of it since that's very normal because my tank is new so you know what I mean uh, but I did treat it with vodka dosing so you know started dosing vodka I'm up now to four five milliliters every day I dose it in the morning you know and um, as you can see cyano has almost all gone um, there is some down there um, and some back there but um, you know most of it is all gone um, yeah so I'm dosing vodka I'm dosing bionic bionic, bionic um, in the morning um, I'm also dosing vodka so I'm dosing calcium alkalinity and, and magnesium in the morning, those in five milliliters of vodka, um, and um, also I drip cockwasser at night, um, right there. So, <clears throat> yeah, guys, everybody in the tank is doing great. The tank, the blue hippo tank, um, is still with me. My boy still hasn't gotten his 180 gallon um, tank up yet, you know what I mean. He's being a little lazy, so I try to push him to get, you know, to get on that, you know, to get on that and get it. Because, I mean, you know, I, I'm going to help him, you know, obviously, um, trying to reseal the tank again, you know what I mean? Because, like I said, it had a leak. So that's why this hippo tank um, ended up in my tank here. But um, fortunately, it was small enough to, you know, survive for a couple months in here. All right. So everybody in the tank is doing great, the clam is doing great, the SPSs are doing okay, um, the A-can is doing great, the uh, mushroom right next to it is getting bigger, um, there's another A-can right there, that's the uh, UFO A-can, uh, clove polyp, a um, couple of zoas here and there. Oh, here's a uh, couple more zoas here. Um, I got a candy cane, alien candy cane right here. One, two. Uh, but yeah, guys, as you see, all my cyanobacteria is all gone from the rocks and everything. Um, so, I'm happy about it. And thank God I didn't use any antibiotic or any um, kind of um, chemical. To get rid of it I was very patient you know what I mean for about a month and a half my tank was looking like shit it was all black all red like fucking strings of shit hanging out um you know so but I dealt with it you know I did a whole lot of water changes like was doing was doing water changes every like um two three days you know what I mean 20% water changes every two three days and siphon that out um, also put um, what did I put I put um, the the Chemipure Elite in there put a Chemipure Elite in there um, chain my carbon you know but I'm like I said I'm dosing vodka vodka is doing the job the, you know all the work here on the cyanobacteria and also any other type of allergy, you know, all the bad allergies, because, you know, uh, but, yeah, so, everybody is doing great, the clowns, uh, I had a problem with the clowns, um, like I told you guys, the female was hosting the anemone, and was keeping the male up here, well, they finally are living together now, <laughs> because, um, you know, well, they started fighting, and they were, like, going at it like their their mouths were locked at each other and they're like just like twisting and and doing all this kind of crazy shit 
and they end up cutting themselves in the mouth and got some kind of fungus in their mouth like their mouth got all white and shit so what I had to do I was kinda you know I thought they weren't gonna make it so I got them out of the tank and put them in my quarantine tank put them in my quarantine tank and then um you know left them there for a week you know I used a um, chemical over there on my uh, quarantine tank um, it's called quick cure it's all all uh, like a cure egg a cure um like fungus type of white you know discoloration of the you know of the skin um, but yeah I treat them for um, about a week and a half and then um, it seemed like that the cuts that they had in their mouths got infected and they still have a little white in their mouth but um, they're doing really good now their fins are nice and you know they're moving around so which is great you know I mean I'm happy about it so I didn't have to get you know two more clowns and have them you know in my tank for another three months and trying to host the anemone this guy's went to, you know hosted the anemone now but they're in they're um they're going at the hippo tank here because the hippo slip um the hippo tank slips up there and they don't like him going near the anemone so they're protecting the anemone now so yeah but um everybody the um purple dotty back she's like the freaking queen of the tank she's like a biatch she bites everybody that goes back here nobody can go back here because she runs this shit back here yeah. anyway guys see I have a little bit of cyano still but it's going away eventually you know I'm gonna keep dosing vodka until I get um you know until I get and like and I haven't gotten any new corals or anything just because of the cyanobacteria I wanted to get you know get that over with and get that cleaned up because um you know I thought maybe I was because you know it was taking such a long time to disappear I thought maybe you know I need to like put some kind of chemical in there like chemi pure I mean like the chemi clean or um the ultra life but I ended up not not using any chemicals just a lot of water changes of um, put a chem pure elite in there um, GFO and um, you know dosing vodka you know you gotta start slow with the vodka though you start at point um, one for a 25 gallon and then it start you know Point two or point three the following week, and the second week, and then the third week point five. You know, so you know I went a little higher on mine just because it was having. As soon as I started, you know, dosing it, dosing the tank, I saw good, you know, positive um, changes. So I kept dosing it a little higher. So I'm, I'm right now at four four and a half four and a half milliliters uh, of vodka every day and it's just doing great so I'm just gonna keep that there for now and then uh, we'll um we'll see how everything goes but uh yeah I haven't gotten any new corals I'm kind of like tight on the cash right now so you know what I mean until I get some cash in my hand um, this is gonna have to do so yeah guys but um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions about um, um, my cyanobacteria and how um, how I got rid of it um, without using any chemicals or any um, antibiotics. Um, yeah, guys. All right, Riff Raff here. Signing out. Peace.